I got a new video, new video. Who's here? The mailman. Must be a package. Be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something different than any other videos I've ever posted on YouTube. So today we're gonna talk about DIY home improvement projects. I did a big project in my house and I'm excited to share it with you. So my husband and I bought our house about three years ago and as soon as we bought it, I knew that I wanted to change some things. All of the cabinetry in my house is that 90s sort of oak finish that I personally didn't like, so I knew I was going to refinish them somehow. So I started doing some research, which is basically YouTube, y'all know. After I did lots of research, I discovered chalk paint, which I had never heard about before. The trouble with chalk paint though is that it was kind of expensive. I was looking for something that was a little bit more budget friendly, but I wasn't gonna try to make my own recipe because I got three kids and no time for that. I discovered this company called BB Frosh. They're stationed out of Las Vegas and they sell chalk paint powder that you just mix in with your paint and they sell it in little kits and it's sort of like a package, here you go, and all you do is add your paint. So that seemed like the best option for me. So that's exactly what I did. I can't recall what the name of the kit was. If I can find it, I will link it down below. I knew that when I purchased my kit, I wanted to get the one that had the most chalk paint powder because my kitchen is the big mama when it comes to home improvement projects and I have a lot of cabinetry in there. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough of it. Before I got to my kitchen though, I wanted to make sure that I tried this method on a room that was a little bit smaller and kind of unseen to everyone else so I could perfect my technique and make sure that I liked the way it looked. So I transformed my laundry room and it turned out really awesome and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Okay, so this is our laundry room before. Got a sink, our machines, and then all of these cabinets with of course, all of that storage up there, which we clearly just throw things on top of, but we're gonna fix that. <laughs> so there's a few big tall ones here. And then the cabinet for the sink on the bottom. So here's before, we'll see how it turns out after. Let me tell you just a little bit about the kit and what comes in it. The first thing that came in my kit was this little information packet and it just gives you basic instructions, talks about some of the other types of finishes, how to care for your brushes, that type of thing, really helpful. It also came with this little cloth. I'm not quite sure what to do with this cloth. I'm sure it has a purpose. I just didn't read through the booklet as long as I should have. Mm -hmm. Additionally, it came with these little paper towel cloths. I feel like they're like paper, but they're not quite as linty as a paper towel. So I've been using these to take the glaze from my cabinet, so that's always nice. My kit came with two brushes. Unfortunately, the paintbrush is still outside because I've cleaned it. I do have the wax brush to share with you. These brushes are really cool because they're pretty dense. Uh, I think this is horse hair that they're made from, but as you can see here, it's, it's pretty tapered and you use it to just buff the wax in and then wipe it off. They, the paintbrush is similar to this, it's just it's a little bit more round and thick. These are nice brushes, they're nice and heavy duty. And of course, it came with chalk paint powder. I got the kit that had two large containers of chalk paint powder. This stuff is the magic. I knew that if I did chalk paint cabinets, I was going to have to put some sort of protective coating on them, and I was like researching into wax, and BB Frosh sells their kits with wax and you can buy it individually as well. The issue was is I didn't know what a dark colored wax would look like on my cabinetry or what a clear wax would look like, how it would dry and if it would affect the color of it. So when I ordered my kit, I just got both. <laughs> the last thing in here is this little container, which is conveniently the same size as all the paint sample containers from Lowe's or Home Depot. So if you wanted to, you can just take your chalk paint powder and put it in here from your sample. I personally got the gallon of paint and dumped it out. I know that's a lot of work, but I wanted a huge amount of it. This is nice though, like a little sample can, so you can put stuff in here and then you can test it out to see what your final project's gonna look like. 
Okay, so how you use this chalk paint powder is really, really awesome. So all you do is you get whatever size container you're gonna use. If you're gonna use a pint, I personally used a gallon, and they give you instructions and, and ratios back here of how much chalk paint powder to mix with water and then put that into your paint and it turns it into chalk paint. It is so cool. So I've clearly used a lot of this container. I did my entire laundry room, but I also did a sample door before I did my laundry room just to make sure that I liked the color of the paint. This stuff really does go a long way. I still have most of that gallon of paint left and this little can. So this stuff stretches a lot farther than you think it's going to. I will say that it takes about three coats of paint to cover my oak 90s cabinetry. It takes a long time in between. So the way that I did it was I laid all my cabinet doors out and I applied three coats of chalk paint and I waited probably about 40 minutes in between because it's blazing hot here in the summer and I'm doing this in the middle of July. And then I flipped them over and did three additional coats on the other side of the door, flipped them back over, did the glaze, and wax and flip them back over and did glaze and wax on the other side. So it took me four days to do the cabinet tree in my laundry room, which is forever in this heat, but it turned out amazing. There's a million different techniques of chalk painting, if you're gonna antique it or not, if you're gonna glaze it or not. I knew that the finish I was looking for was going to require a glaze. I'm uncertain if BB Frosh sells a glaze in a kit the glaze that I used, I had actually stolen from one of my other kits that I used to refinish some of my bathrooms. I'm excited for you guys to see how it turned out and the amazing difference that it made. So let's go see. Okay guys, so here's my laundry room after. Much different, I think. Turned out pretty well. <clears throat> As you can see here, I antiqued these cabinets, meaning in between the chalk paint and glaze coats, I used a very fine piece of sandpaper and I just sanded the edges of this. And the glaze is what gives this cabinet this dimension here. Without the glaze, it would just be flat paint, chalk paint, which you could still age, but this brown embellishment paint marking here would not be. We are planning to order some hardware to put on here, but we're waiting to find one that we like just so we can make sure that we match the kitchen. So here's all the tall cabinets. I think they turned out really well, really nice. So here it is in the after. That's my laundry room makeover, guys. My kitchen is actually in progress. We are knocking down our island and doing all kinds of crazy things in there. So I am filming that transformation as well. So that will be up on my channel as soon as it's done. So if you guys have done this before, or if you know different brands of chalk paint powder or just chalk paint itself that you use, please let me know down below so I can check those out too. I wanna paint everything now, everything. I wanna paint everything. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will check back with you guys very soon. Bye. Why are you, no, let her go. The wax brush, just the wax brush. This is like take 92. We're getting this video done today.